Ernest was discovered by a Hollywood agent while working as a computer programmer. They noticed him because he was the only good-looking computer programmer in all of Hollywood. His new movie is called Beyond the Lights. It opens Friday. Please welcome Nate Parker. <laughs> You had a mustache, and I think you said you only had it for a part, and now you have a mustache again. Is this a no, social this is the mustache? Second time in my life I've ever had a mustache, and you managed to get me back on the show with the mustache again. Oh, how exciting! Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. So this is a, an acting mustache. This is it is. A... I have a thing uh, that I'm, I'm working on, and uh, you know, before I called it my, my push broom. Now it's my it's my boomerang. Your boomerang. Yeah. Yeah, you even have the kind of the mutton chops going. They're starting yeah, okay. to connect to the mustache. Yeah. At which point, what will it be called? Is it just, just still a mustache, huh? Yeah, I guess. I guess. So. <laughs> How are you doing? Hard to work on. I'm good. I'm really. I heard you're still, uh, despite the fact that you're a successful actor, coaching a high school wrestling team. That is the truth. That How is. How seriously are you? Uh, is this one of those things where you're like. You drop in once every three months, and then you tell everyone you're a uh, high school coach, or are you no, really coaching the I'm team? I'm, like, full-time. It's funny, because it's like a... I guess I'm, like, a reverse superhero. You know, I come in like this, rip it off. I got my coaching outfit, and, and I work with the kids. And, and it's, it freaks the people out. People are like, are you a, a wrestling coach? Are you training for a role? I'm like, no, I'm just working with the kids. You know? How many kids do you work with? How many kids are on the team? A lot. Maybe like 30 kids. 30 kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what are wrestling kids like nowadays? Like, when I was in high school, they were kind of like the, the most clean cut, and they were always um, throwing up to make weight and that yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> Not a lot of throwing up. Not no? Of, it, it's, it changes. It's funny, because uh, all the kids are different. You know what I mean? I have these two kids. They're, they're twins, and they're like one of those... They don't, you know... Curse, you hear a curse word, and they, like, freak out, and they're like, he said a curse word. Really? And you have a guy that, like, one day he's, like, goth, and the next day he's, like, you know, uh, from Save the, Save the Bell, you know, uh, um, it, it's... You it, have a goth wrestler? Yeah, it changes. <laughs> it, it's so funny, because kids are changing so much, and I don't, I mean, I don't know why, but, uh, it's, it's nuts, you know, it's, um, it's fun. It's, like, my first job. Acting's, like, my hobby. You is know it I mean? here in L.A. that you it's do It's in this? San Marino. San Marino, California. Oh, which is like, it's a kind of like a wealthy area, right? Yeah, all the kids have better car, everything than I do. You know? <laughs> I like borrow money for the kids for like lunch. You know? <laughs> and are the kids enough. interested in like, in your movies and the fact that you're yeah, an actor? Yeah, it's funny because they forget sometimes. So every once in a while I have to remind them. So I have like a, they'll have a tournament and I'll be like working on a movie set. Like recently, um, I did this film and I was working with Liam Neeson and uh, you know, he boxes. So he was just right. like, you know, hey, you're, you're coach wrestling. So we talk a lot and I said, you know, I have to go and, you know, rev the kids up, they have a, a tournament coming up. He was like, you mean, like, right now? I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, let's do something. I was like, you and me? He was like, yeah. I was like, you and me do something? He's like, yeah. I was like, all right, let's do it. So his assistant did a video, and, uh, you know, I said, guys, I'm not here to help you this time, but uh, I brought someone along to help me, you know, get you ready for the next tournament. And so Liam Neeson walks into the frame, and he goes, San Marino wrestlers, you better win, or I'll find you. And I'll kill you. No lie. So <laughs> I'll find you, and I'll kill you? Yeah, yeah. And did they win? They won. Oh, you know? Of course they won. They didn't want Liam Neeson to kill them. <laughs> they were excited about it. it was fun. <laughs> I bet they were. Oh, that's pretty great. I mean, that's a great thing for you to do. What is your coaching style? Are you a tough coach? I'm, I'm a tough coach. Uh, I, I'm animated and I can't help it. You know, it's like uh, everything about, you know, your c career, you're supposed to be careful and your branding, you're supposed to look and say, guy, I do this. I can't. So when I get out there, I'm sweating. I'm like crawling on the mat and like the ref is like, back up, back up. And I'm crawling on the mat and he's like, back up. I'm not going to tell you again. And I'm getting like points taken away. And it's funny because some of the parents, they're trying to decide if I'm really the actor. You know, so they're like, is that the actor crawling on the mat? And so <laughs> when people tap me on the shoulder, I literally, like, make a face so they can't tell it's me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, are you the actor? I'm like, no. Oh, excuse me? Like, no. People tell me that all the time. I don't know. You know, because I, I try to make the, you know, you know keep wow. it too hard. Wow. Wow. There's more acting and wrestling than I imagined. There's a lot of acting. <laughs> now, in this movie, Beyond the Lights, you play a cop. I do. Who's dating a big music star. Yeah. Like a uh, Rihanna type, is that uh, how we would yeah, describe it? Yeah, absolutely. Like, she's on the brink of superstardom, and, uh, and you would think that everything, because she has everything she wants, that she's happy, but because she's empty inside, just kind of, like, living in this hypersexualized world and not really able to identify with who she really is, she's starting to, um, you know, not want to live anymore. And this character, you know, is moonlighting as a security guard, and he comes in and ends up saving her life. And through that relationship, you know, we, uh, we, we grow to love each other and find each other and find ourselves. That's beautiful. <laughs> are the wrestling 
Are the wrestlers going to come see this movie? Do you think they'll go? You know what's funny? Um, I always <laughs> tell my wrestlers, you win the state tournament, I'll take you on the red carpet with me. So, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's my thing. Oh, that's good. Does that motor, is that something that they want to do? Yeah, they do. I told them I'm going to get them a tux and take them out to eat and oh, ride Is a that limo. a good idea, by the way, to bring a bunch of high school kids on the red carpet? I mean, they could potentially I just cause trouble. I just say, don't talk. <laughs> direct all the questions to me. Don't talk to anybody. Anyone. So this movie, you are a um, you're a cop and with the musician. Are you a musician? Do you are you a no nothing like that? No, no, no. Uh, I sometimes play a musician on TV, but that's it. That's a, that's the extent of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, next time you come here, bring your kids here uh, to the show, and then uh, I don't are know. You we'll, sure? make, we'll have them beat Guillermo up or something like I'll that. I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be a fun thing. They would like that. Use it to motivate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Or here's what you do. Tell them if you don't win, the, like, you don't qualify for the state quarterfinals or whatever, we're going to make you come to the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very good to see you again. Thanks. Good luck on both of your strangely divergent <laughs> careers. The movie is called money. Beyond the Lights. It opens on Friday. That's Nate Parker, everybody. We'll be right back with Spandau Ballet. The Jimmy Kimmel Live Concert Series is presented by AT&T, mobilizing your world.